You know, I was told that there's a difference between gender and sex. That was the academic argument the left was trying to make, that your gender was how you feel, your gender identity, and your biological sex was your physiology. From the post-millennial, 50 male hysterectomies, Oregon alters health records to reflect gender identity, not biological sex. Then what is the point of tracking for these things? You know, logic dictates if you're a human being and you undergo a hysterectomy, you're female. If you are a human being and you undergo a gonad removal, I think that's what they call it. Actually, let me see. What does it say? Um, Gonad removal. Female. 35. Um, Pretty sure you're male because uh, females don't have that. Uh, Unless, what is that? Is is gonad a a blanket term, actually? I think that refers to dudes, right? I don't know. Because I don't uh, Do ovaries count as like the reproductive? I guess they're just ovaries. But uh, anyway, I'll just put it simply. Men don't have uteruses, so hysterectomy you you, you can't do, but uh, sure, I guess. Female laser hair removal. You see, that implies it is biological males getting it. Now, what's the point of any of this if we can't even describe what we're dealing with? We can't even describe who is receiving this care. What's the point of the terms? Their goal at first was when they said there's a difference between sex and gender. First, gender was used to describe male or female. Then they said, no, 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 gender is social and sex is different. Now they're saying it's all the same thing. They have seeded in the mind of the American people that gender is fluid. And now they're merging the words again so that anyone can be anything. Okay. If there is somebody who is suffering a medical emergency and they're biologically male, some medications might be bad for them. So if the person says they're female, they could die if they're given the wrong treatment. But here's where we are. I'm going to play for you uh, this video right here. You are being warned. I will turn the volume down. But uh, the Columbia Bugle says there's no reasoning with these people. We just have to win and they have to lose. Uh, I'll keep the volume low. But here we go. Okay, anyway, now that you've heard that horrifying screaming, this is at a board of supervising me- a board of supervisors meeting in, I believe, San Francisco. This is the best definition of wokeism that I've ever seen, right to the point, says Jason Howerton. I suppose that's hysterical. There's no information here. And that's where we are. Oh, oh yeah, here we go. Daily Mail. Top Democrat's transgender daughter gets probation for hitting cop in the face and spray painting all cops are bastards on Boston Commons Monument. This is what woke is, okay? They say one thing and it breaks down immediately. Last night we had James Rosen on the show and he said, well, you know, that's your definition of woke. No, there is a definition definition of woke. Cult-like adherence to a social orthodoxy forged by social media algorithms. That's the definition. And that's why there's no moral framework here. None. There's no factual basis. None. So when we hear the academics say things like, well, it's rooted in postmodernism and Marxism. But no, it isn't. No. Elements of those things exist in the horror monster blob that has absorbed random ideologies and spits them out at random. But this clearly shows none of these people have any moral system. Look, there's no rooted in Marxism screaming at a board of supervisors. I mean, there's nothing there. There's no Marxism and, and critical race theory in supporting war in Ukraine. And where does it come from when you say that gender and sex are different, but now they're not? Now they're interchangeable. Because there is no morality. There is no logic. There isn't any moral framework at all. I suppose the way I see it is it like, like it's like a Picasso. It's just ran. No, no, a Jackson Pollock painting. Picasso is maybe how it used to be. At least you can kind of like, is that an eye and an ear? It's weirdly spaced, but okay. Fine art. Jackson Pollock, that's the splashed paint. just <clears throat> Splashed onto the, onto the canvas. That's what we are dealing with. That's why nothing seems to make sense. That's why it all seems to be falling apart. If you cannot form a logical structure, you cannot build a house. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me say it this way. This is what I see. You have a building, right? And you have nuts and you have bolts. You need them both. 
And one day someone says, no, 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 no. Hardware doesn't refer just to nuts and bolts. It, it refers to all of the tools. See, it's, it's different. So when I say I need the hardware, I could be referring to something else based on my interpret. Oh, OK. OK, well, I still need some bolts to put in this thing. Say, OK. They say you can't describe it as nuts and bolts. Then one day that you come back and now all of a sudden you say, can you give me one of those bolts? And they go, OK, and hand you a nut. And you're like, oh, well, this is not going to help me build this structure. You see my point? If there is no definition of a word, there's no logical system by which you can build anything, and then you will only flow towards the negative. This, in my view, is evil. But there's a difference between malicious evil and um, the banality of evil, banal evil. I think goodness is creating complex systems, organizing free energy. The left is a disorganization, a disorganizational chaotic, destructive force. It rips things apart. It is, I don't know, entropy, I guess, incarnate. What we want to do is we want to build logical systems, explore the logic of the universe, put together the pieces to better learn how things work and improve. And that means creating new human life. The left, they want to take human life. They want to sterilize kids. They want to abort babies. They want to break apart the meaning of words. They are ripping apart all that we have built. That's what I see with all of this. And that's why I highlight these these different stories. I'm just like 50 male hysterectomies, Democrats, transgender daughter. So just to clarify, it's a biological male. But you get the point. When the news media starts saying things like daughter, you assume it's a female. But in fact, no, it's a biological male because the goal is to make sure nothing makes sense. We must make sense of it. So where are we going with all of this as I kind of I don't know. I see these stories and I just think to myself, the chaos is among us. Get out of cities. Don't be don't be. uh, Look, they're calling for that Marine guy to be locked up. Stay away from the woke. Stay away from the cities. Don't give these people your money. Otherwise. We're going to head to a dark place. Last night when we had James Rosen on, he was saying it was grim cast IRL. And some people were saying it's very blackpilled. Listen, I think we face a tremendous existential crisis, but I do think we're going to pull through. I say it all the time. I suppose it's just you have to remind people every time. And then, of course, you get people like, Tim, you said this already. Don't say it again. Well, I have to, apparently. When I say that things are getting bad, I'm not saying we're going to lose our lives and it's the end of the world. I'm saying the United States is going to falter. We will lose our position as the unipolar superpower. We probably already did. The system will become decayed and corrupted as it is now, as you can see. You know, there's a news breaking about uh, the Proud Boys being found guilty of seditious conspiracy. I don't know enough about the case to comment right now. You can see the left clearly has no definitions. They have no goals. We don't know what it is they're trying to do other than destroy things. It seems like our society is on fire. And so that will that will mean the house will burn down. Yeah, but we'll pull through. We'll build a new house. In order to do so, you got to get away from these cities. You got to go out to the middle of nowhere find a house somewhere, find work, have a family, build resources, build skills up, and stay away from places like this. Without a basic logical understanding, they won't survive. The cities will crumble, and they are. Portland, San Francisco, New York, etc., they're falling apart. Getting away from these places and building a small local community may be the answer. Already I'm hearing creepy things coming out of West Virginia, which, which has me concerned. You know, we're going to West Virginia, but the far left psychopaths are infiltrating and we're going to push back. We are not going to let them take MAGA country. They're trying. They're going to the schools. They're indoctrinating kids. And these kids aren't learning anything discernible. So we've got to stand up. Otherwise, man, I don't think you want to live in a future where there's no difference between males and females. Or the only difference is what you decide to say. Male hysterectomies. Yeah, that's not possible. Real Deal says Oregon Health Authority data no longer distinguishes sex. 35 female gonad removals, 50 male hysterectomies. It's clear that tracking sex no longer provides any value since people are marking these fields based on how they feel and not their biology. That's a breakdown in science because we know that medications affect males and females differently. But that's the point. It is nothing but chaos, decay and destruction of our systems. They say two plus two equals five. That's ridiculous. 
lies, cheating, and stealing, but this is where we currently are. I do think things will get worse, but I do think you are resilient, and I am resilient, and we'll be okay in the long run. It just means we won't be as comfortable. I'll leave it there. Next segment's coming up tonight at 8 p.m. over at youtube.com slash timcastirl. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you all then.